everybody, what's going on? It's BQ here. The angle that I kind of want to talk about right now, real quick, is the Matt Seidel, Josh Matthews dynamic that we saw recently on Impact. Now, I've been very critical of this angle for a few different reasons. With that being said, I want to say I actually like the angle, or I should say liked, because I'm a big Josh fan. Not many of you are. I love Josh Matthews. I had some problems with this storyline from a creative standpoint was that neither of the rest neither of the uh those involved fully committed to it or at least it didn't appear that way they just were kind of halfway there there was no real change of the gimmick even though there really should have been something the other thing was the lack of storytelling that happened inside the impact zone so when they revealed Josh Matthews as a spiritual advisor. They didn't know what was going on. So those were two big holes in it for me. And then at the redemption pay-per-view, Josh, um, let's not even get to redemption. So even though he's doing this spiritual advisor angle, he's still in the announce booth and he's not even being a full heel. He's being a tweener heel. Now at redemption, he lets Matt Seidel know, no, you got this, bro. You don't need me anymore. Matt's like, you've taught me so much. And then just like that, Josh has stepped out of the angle. And now it seems like he's transitioning back to the booth. So, so the original rumor was that he was transitioning out of the booth with this managerial role. A lot of people are salivating at the thought of Josh Matthews being a manager. They wanted to see that, thought that he could excel in that role. And we really didn't get it like we probably would have liked and now he's kind of going back in the booth. I'm fine with him in the booth as long as he plays a 100% babyface to Don Callis' heel. But if he flip-flops and, and is a tweener, that's where it becomes a little bit hard to listen to. But I do like Josh. I think he gets a very unfair criticism. I don't think he's near as, near as bad as people say. He's definitely not, as, uh, not worse than Jeremy Borash was. He was horrible. So let's see what this new announced team does. But with that being said, there's some we're, we'll see what happens with the set of tapings. But I was definitely disappointed at Redemption that he he kind of dropped the angle. If it was going to be that short lived, give him a different spiritual advisor. Give him give him someone else that that can be there. It's almost like what was the point of that to to turn Matt Seidel heel? But Josh isn't even a full heel. Josh even, wasn't even a heel anymore. After the Jeremy Borash angle, he said a few heelish things there. So there was a lot of confusion, a lot of flip-flopping with that one. And this was something that had to actually actually had the potential to be pretty entertaining to where Josh probably could have been a pretty good mouthpiece. But it's something I don't know if they just decided not to roll with it, you know, and then ultimately decided, hey, we want Josh to stay in the booth because it was being reported that he was going to be out. And I know they had contacted Kevin Kelly. They had contacted um joey styles and th these are just rumors that came my way you know i never i never reported that anything was going to happen with those guys but i know that that's who they they at least tried to contact so maybe those didn't work out and they decided okay josh we need you to stay but I, but if you were going to have josh do the managerial thing you should have at least known who his, his replacement was going to be so i guess we're never really going to know that's kind of a behind the scenes thing but uh Rest in peace to that angle, but it's something I think would have had potential had had they really committed to it, and you know the gimmick changed a little bit. And they they changed their their clothes and they just just go all in. Thanks for listening, folks. Leave a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.